We ought to have a more systematic way if we're going to go beyond a few diseases and actually tackle all of them. The thousands of rare diseases and the common diseases, all of which we knew had hereditary contributions, if we're going to find them, we have to have better methods, better databases, more powerful tools. That's where the Genome Project came in. So this was just at the point where a few brave souls were beginning to talk about the idea of sequencing, that is, reading out the letters of the entire 3 billion base pair, 3 billion letter human genome. And quite a few months later, I found myself actually being interviewed for the position, and a few months later after that, uh, agreeing to take it. And what did that for me was this sense of history, that this was, if it went well, potentially going to be the most significant scientific undertaking that humankind had ever mounted, because it's an adventure to ourselves. So not to be grandiose, but one could then say, oh, all right, let's look at the uh, big things we've done scientifically, like going to the moon or splitting the atom. Those were huge, but this is an adventure into ourselves with all of the consequences in terms of medicine, in terms of understanding life, in terms of philosophical and social consequences. And I'm about to say, no, it's not convenient. Uh, so I said, yes and moved my enterprise to Bethesda, Maryland, and took on this job of trying to organize a very fledgling enterprise, sort of feeling my way. So it wasn't so easy, however. We had many stub toes along the way. I mean, we had promised to deliver a finished sequence of the human genome in 15 years at a time when the technology to do that hadn't been invented. So there was a lot of promise here that had to be based upon developments that you couldn't be confident of. But that was maybe a good way to stimulate the innovation and the technological wizardry uh, of a long list of really creative people. Because when we started, you know, sequencing a thousand base pairs of DNA, you could almost get a PhD for that. <laughs> and we knew if we were going to finish this, we had a sequence of 1,000 base pairs every second, seven uh, days a week, 24 hours a day, <laughs> for a couple of years. So the scale uh, of acceleration was breathtaking. It was the sort of thing that you could not have imagined happening in biology uh, previously at all.